one, one of the things about writing, I think, I think is writing is dangerous. Uh, no matter where you live. Um, and, and, and the most interesting I discovered is how you confront yourself. Um, and you become your worst interrogator and your worst censor at, at times. And um, in this book, actually, that is one, one thing I wanted to investigate. It was easier for me to criticize Mr. Ahmadinejad and the Islamic Republic than tell the camera on myself. Um, you know, so um, from that perspective, um, this book was much harder uh, than, than any, anything I've ever written in my life. Um, the second thing, uh, with, with the system, I hate for any of you to think that I am courageous. <laughs> I mean, really. Because I, I would love for you to understand uh, people whose names you never hear. And that was one reason I wanted to write really, really great. Uh, the courage comes from those people um, face this regime existential. Uh, those young people, my generation was a very spoiled generation. Uh, we had everything. Our parents provided us with everything. I, I took everything for granted. And I wanted more and more. And my daughter's generation has gone to jail and has been flogged for wearing lipstick, uh, for um, listening to rap for holding hands. And, and I think that generation has, first of all, understood what individual freedoms mean to their flesh and blood, the way mine never did. I have to be thankful to Islamic Republic for reminding me uh, what, how important it is uh, to have the sun on your skin <laughs> or, or the wind in your head, you know. 